Here we are at NAM 2014 for the GDP. We're at the Gretsch Pavilion. It's the uh, evening of the custom shop dealer only show. We've got a slew of custom shop customs, strangely enough, offered. And uh, we're here with Caves. Yes, Mr. Caves. So. Mr. Caves. And Mr. Caves is an artist who hails from Brooklyn. And uh, I'm going to ask him a few questions, but the gist of things is that since he's a, a Brooklyn native and associated with Brooklyn art, it struck somebody that he ought to paint a bunch of Gretches. Uh, for the custom shop, and that's what's happened. I understand there's a run of 12. That's right, 12 limited edition, uh, one of a kind, uh, straight out of Brooklyn, out of the, uh, I wouldn't say off the train line, but close to it. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about your background. What Joe tells me is you were involved in, uh, in the graffiti uh, phrase. Yeah, 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 sure, sure. I mean, um, a Brooklyn born and raised artist. I started out at 10 years old, right now in the subway trains in New York. Kind of infamous, made famous, made my name uh, um, doing that as a young child, and through the years, um, you know, uh, it grew into uh, you know, what it is now. So we've seen pictures of the subway trains in New York in right. the 80s. Right. At one point, they were infamous. Yes. And, uh, and now they've become more famous as, right. as people That's maybe right. appreciate the art a little more. Well, yeah, you hope so. I mean, New York's probably the only place where they don't appreciate it as much. You know, we're still waiting for the acceptance there, but it's a worldwide phenomenon. You know, it's, it's the uh, voice of, of my youth and, and generation, and it's became uh, it's an American art form that's you know, born in, uh, in uh, the United States, and, and now it's gone you know, globally. So has, has New York forgiven you? Uh, not quite yet. Brooklyn has, but maybe New York has. Were, were you ever busted for vandalism? Uh, yes. I plead the fifth. Tell me when you became aware of Dredge Guitars. Um, wow. Well, uh, you know, I'm a Brooklyn uh, born and raised uh, cat, so, you know, Dredge has always been a household name in, 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 uh, in any house in Brooklyn. Basically, uh, you know, the building still stands over there. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, I have a friend that actually owns an apartment there. Um, but I'm from a band called the Lords of the Lords of the Yeah, rap rock band that uh, got our starts in the Bay Ridge. And at some point we gave up the turntables and, and picked up the live, you know, the live instruments. And my guitarist played with the French and the same And classic you know, you know, vintage, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, that, I mean, I hope I did justice, but I try to give it a a future classic kind of vibe. So I'm in nostalgia cool and, and I wanted to still have its, it's uh, style and class, but then add some of some, you know, outdoor elements to it. Who came, who came up with the concept? Where it's come to you? Is it going to be yeah, well, um, there's a shop in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, the street center, so I get the owner there. Uh, we love Rob. Yeah, he's a great guy, and he said, you know, Kings, we need, uh, we need uh, some attitude, you know, and we need some of your outdoor art. Uh, Without little guitars, you know. So he approached me and, and, and Joe, and um, and I think uh, it's uh, music to everybody's ears, right? It is to mine. Yeah. My understanding is that uh, every one of the twelve guitars is a New York scene. Yeah, it's inspired by New York. Yeah, it's inspired by New York. Uh, inspired by my youth. Uh, I like to feel like the, the graffiti here, like the trains, it was done quick and, and it, was, um, you know, it was done you know, right from the hip, you know, like a gun stage shooting right ahead and it was done, like on the trains it was done quick and, and it was supposed to make a statement. These were done in, in the same kind of style where I laid them with the spray paint first, you gave it the texture and you went in there with the markers to detail it. But it, they all have uh, a little story to them and they definitely are influenced by Brooklyn and if anybody knows the great story, you know Brooklyn pays a, a big part in it. So we wanted to make sure we gave it that Brooklyn attitude. Now the first one here has a, our buddy Al Capone, probably one of the most infamous people ever born in Brooklyn. And um, it's a nod and ode to him, uh, you know, my uh, kind of characterization of him. And Brooklyn Made, that's the name of my tattoo parlor, and that's also, you know, we're all Brooklyn Made, one way or another, you know? So, the branch history was Brooklyn Made. That's right. So, uh, and this one is? Brooklyn Born and Raised. Born and Raised. So, Born and Raised, and if you, uh, pretty much if you're a guitar player, you feel like the guitar was born, uh, born in your hands, right? Sure. And so, here's a nod to uh, an old uh, Cadillac. 
like I said, I'm an old fool, an old nostalgic fool. And, 57, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, 57. And, uh, and a Brooklyn tag up top and caves on a license plate. These are all numbered. This is uh, this is the 12, 12 of 12. This one's a King Gretsch, and my like all graffiti writers want to become the king in line. And the more trains you got up on, you you be able to hold that title. Gretsch is like, in my you know opinion, king of the guitars, you know. So I, I put the uh, capital G, that's right, with the crown, the crown and the stars give it the uh, you know. The, Turn that one around. Yeah. And American Graffiti. That says it all. It says it all. And it, it, it's, uh, it's all about... Uh, yeah. I was born and raised in the uh, American art form. And so was Rock and Roll. Yeah. You know, so. And the movie American Graffiti was a favorite of mine. My father so, uh, It's only to all of those. So that's three of their 12. We got nine more here. And uh, we'll be seeing those throughout the show. Pictures front and back. Uh, I want to say coming soon to a dealer near you, but uh, they probably aren't coming to every dealer everywhere, so uh, we'll let you know which dealers have them and how you might be able to get your hands on one if you want one. Okay, a lot of great talking to you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you.